Hello! This morning I was talking to uh, a few of my very good friends and we were discussing jobs and careers and career satisfaction and two of them said, hmm, I'm not sure about my job, I don't, I'm not, not sure anymore really what, it, what I want and what makes me happy and so on. And I said, oh, I think maybe it's time for you to try the Ikigai exercise. And that is what I want to talk to you about today as well, Ikigai. And Ikigai is a Japanese concept that means a reason to get out of bed every morning. So let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Pauline Pirik and I am a business coach and visibility strategist for entrepreneurs who want to build a brand with purpose. And one of the things I do is help entrepreneurs turn their idea into a real business or find their niche. So find out what they're going to sell, to whom and how they're going to stand out. And uh, I use the Ikigai model also for this because it's a super, super useful model and it's actually very easy. But uh, once you understand it, it is something you can use to evaluate ideas, to um, make your business better suited to, to your passion, to see why you're not making money and much more. So I wanted to quickly run you through the Ikigai model. Let me quickly bring up my camera to see if you can see my little whiteboard. I need to hang it, but since it's not hanging yet, I will just do it like this. So Ikigai makes you find your reason to get out, out of bed every morning, which is kind of like in the center here. This is what you want your Ikigai. And your Ikigai consists of four parts, like this. Wait, let me change the camera so you can actually see me. So the first thing is your passion. So if you want to have a reason to get out of bed every morning, you need to be passionate about what you do, really, really passionate. Um, the second thing is your talents. So not only do you need to be uh, passionate about what you do, but you also need to be good at it, especially if you're an entrepreneur, right? So if you don't have the skills to, to do what you are passionate about, then your business will not be successful and you won't be happy in the end either. Then what you also need, oops, my picture is going strange, is a need. And this means People want your products, people want your services. You are doing something that makes the world a better place that really helps people because that will give you a sense of uh, purpose, right? If you don't feel a sense of purpose, if you feel like what you are doing is not helping anyone, it's not, not making a difference, then you will um, easily get burned out. So you don't want that. So if you have passion and a need and talents, that's good. But if you're an entrepreneur or if you are um, working, there's one more thing. I need to kind of fit it in here. It's not a nice, not a nice drawing, but I hope you get the idea. And that is money. So you need to find something that you're passionate about and that you're talented at, that the world needs and that can make you money. And there in the middle, this is your Ikigai your reason to get out of bed every morning and be super, super happy. So let me put this thing here and I'll sit down. So what this means is if you feel like, you know, your business is not bringing you joy, then you can think about what your passion is and how you can create more passion in your business. And if you feel in general, hmm, I feel mad about my business, think about all these things. How can I um, be more passionate about, about what I do? How can I create more purpose or, or a bigger need in the market? How can I make more money and how can I add my talents? And if you optimize all these four areas, you will be more successful for sure. So that's one, re one way how you can use Ikigai to um, optimize what you're doing. The other way you can use it, if you are really feeling like, I have no idea what kind of business I should start or what kind of job I want, 
So you can brainstorm each of these four circles. So write down all your passions, write down all your talents, write down, write down ideas on how you can make money and write out uh, needs that you see in the world and then see if you can mix and match those uh, into a viable business idea, if that makes sense. So that's a way you can use the model. And the third way that I find really useful is you can use it to evaluate ideas. So let's say you have four different business ideas. You create a spreadsheet, um, idea one, idea two, idea three, idea four, and then you have, you rate it on a scale from one to 10, where one is bad and 10 is good. You rate it on how passionate do I feel about this? How talented am I at it? How good at I am I at making this idea happen? Do I see a real need in the market? Uh, and will this make the world a better place? And then finally, will I be able to make money with this? And then you can add up all the numbers and the one with the highest score is your winning idea. And you can also uh, cross out all the ideas that score, score lower than, I would say lower than a six. So if it's a five on a scale from zero to 10, then don't do that idea because it's lacking in one of the areas and that will mean it won't be your Ikigai. So that is very briefly um, the Ikigai model. So passion, talent, a way to make money and a real need in the world. Find those for your business and then you know you're, you'll be on the right path. Uh, and a few ways to use it. So to evaluate ideas, to come up with new ideas or to optimize what you are doing right now. I've created a little um, worksheet for you that you can download below where you can fill out your own Ikigai and evaluate your ideas. And one of the things that I love doing and that I think I'm quite good at is helping you find a way to make money because many entrepreneurs, they know their passion, they know their talent, they see a need in the market, but they don't, they don't know how to add that fourth component, which is how on earth can I make money with this idea? So that's the part that's hard for many entrepreneurs, especially for purpose-driven entrepreneurs. So if you're struggling with that and you would like help with that, that is what I do in my coaching services. So you can check out my page to see how I can help with that. And I would love to have a chat with you. And um, in the meantime, I hope this was useful. Fill out the Ikigai, think about it and think how you can use this to uh, launch new products, launch new services, build your business or just make your, your business better and better and better.